Good morning, this is David Shedd of easternslopes.com and I'm here in our new and expanded laboratory which uh, unfortunately is so new that it doesn't yet have heat, so thus the jacket. Um, luckily it does have a microwave so I'm able to heat up some coffee and keep myself warm that way. What we're doing today is something that we do all the time um, as a safety measure which is practicing replacing the batteries in our headlamps with our eyes closed or in the dark. You can't tell because, of course, you can't see my face right now, but as I'm doing this, I have my eyes closed. And I'm pulling the batteries out. This is a, uh, this is a Black Diamond Storm. Uh, it's a winter a headlamp that's designed very specifically for winter, and since it's getting cold, we're getting prepared to take it out and use it. And the nature of headlamps is that they fail at the worst possible moment. They fail either um, when you're outside of camp and trying to hike back in, or when you're trying to get down off a mountain, or something of that sort. And, um, of course, under those circumstances, if you want to replace the batteries, you don't have a light source. Now, maybe you've got a spare light source in your emergency kit, but having to rely on that is a little difficult, and it requires more digging. So we always practice and just know, and, and of course for us it's a little more difficult because we have all of these and there's different headlamps coming in, we're trying different things all the time. So uh, we have to practice, get used to them, and, uh, and, and do this fairly often. So what the key is, is to know the headlamp and really pay attention to it. The Storm is a little more difficult than most because it's a four battery, and I think all of the rest of these, that's a single battery, um, the rest of these are three battery units, and so the four battery unit, there's an extra layer, and making sure you get that first one set correctly uh, is even more difficult. Uh, the first step is know your batteries. I typically carry a spare set of batteries with a rubber band around them. Uh, that way they're always right together, and they're also, there's nothing that is difficult, like if you put them in a plastic baggie or something like that, and try and get them out of the baggie, it's relatively easy to drop them. With this, it's easy to get them in my hand and take them out one by one as I need to. The other thing is, in knowing your batteries, um, we often use, these are rechargeables, and if you notice, these have a very flat base to them. And you compare them to these new Duracells, and you'll see the Duracell has got, let's see if we can do a comparison here, you can see the Duracell's got quite a little bump to it. Know your batteries before you use them because when you're working in the dark uh, and sleet and snow and your fingers are cold, you might just, if you've been used to using a flat battery, feel that bump and go, oh, that's positive. And it's not. That's the negative side. So what you do is, is pretty simple. Look at your headlamp. Look at where the positives and negatives are. Figure out how you're going to recognize it. With this one, you know, where it opens up like this. That puts it right there, and I know that, and I have my eyes closed now, and I'm holding this. That's my negative side. I know that the first battery goes in negative side down, negative side to my left hand, that is. Um, we'll hope I'm right about this, to be honest with you. Again, I haven't used this, uh, this light much yet, so I could be wrong. But put in the next one, in this case, goes the opposite direction, and then positive goes in next after that, and then positive back to the direction again. Now I've done this correctly and I close this and this one uses a little screw to put it together. If I'm lucky it'll turn on. And it's not. You can tell I need to keep practicing this. Yes, I did open my eyes for that. Now looking at it, that's funny. It looks correct. So I'm having possibly an issue with one of the rechargeables not being fully charged or something along those lines. So let's try it again and take out the rechargeables and again I'm doing this with my eyes closed nice thing about doing my eyes closed is I can find my coffee in that way uh, life goes on okay so I have this set I pull my first battery and I put it in positive to the right and then second positive to the left third one positive to the right and fourth one, positive to the left. Get those. No, doesn't look, there we go. That snapped in that time, I think. And close it up. And there we go. So there is hope. I can do it right. And I'll practice that two or three more times, um, again with my eyes closed, before I go out there. And that way, 
I just don't have any worries. And interestingly enough, when you are in an emergency situation, let's say you're coming down, you've gotten off a trail and you're coming down off a mountain or something like that, and reasonably so, you're scared or at least in a heightened state. Um, so you're feeling, you know, high adrenaline, high heartbeat, all those things, and you're nervous. A situation like this can actually go the exact opposite direction you'd think it would. Um, you'd think, oh, geez, I lose my headlight, I don't have any light, this is horrible. But when you stop and take something like this and take a little bit, little mini emergency and turn it to your favor, and you have to relax and put that together and then turn that back on and, and you have light again. What that does for you is you've accomplished something, you've succeeded at something, and it calms you, and it makes you then be able to take the next step with more confidence. So a, being prepared for a bad situation can actually make you better at a much worse situation. Hope this is helpful for you, and I hope you'll go home and, and take your own headlamp, whatever it is, and practice with your batteries and use that and give yourself just a little bit more of a margin for safety. So again, this is David Shedd, publisher and senior editor of easternslopes.com, and I hope you've enjoyed this video.